Hi, I'm Lukas. I'm from Germany and I lived around the world for the past five years. Hello, my name is Rok. Uh, I come from Slovenia and I'm 33 years young. My name is Sam and I come from Hong Kong and I'm 27 years old. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Phil, I call myself Fresh Fruit Phil, I'm from Australia. I live in Brisbane which is a city on the eastern seaboard of Australia. I'm 44 years old. Hi, my name is Jonathan, um, I'm from England, I'm 29 as of tomorrow. I became raw vegan, it's like a year ago almost. I've been raw for like um, one and a half years already yeah. and I feel great. I've been into raw food, like uh, especially low fat for about four or five years. I've been following the 80-10-10 diet which is ostensibly a high fruit and vegetable raw food diet, low in fat but high in carbohydrates for about three years now. I met with this diet because of my health issues. Um, I was also over, overweight at 220 pounds. Uh, I was really constantly tired. I had uh, health issues that even doctors couldn't diagnose or fix. So it was uh, it was virtually a no-brainer to start actually living this way. And uh, in nine months, approximately, things have really sorted out. I lost over 80 pounds. Uh, I have energy like never before in my life, and. Uh, all the health problems magically went away. I didn't have any serious health issues. Um, why I'm being more vegan? Because I want to see the change, so I be the change. Yeah, that's the main reason. Yeah. I become raw vegan because my roommate, she was raw vegan. It just, it just made a lot of sense to me to eat raw foods and um, instead of like normal dishes. And I tried it, tried it for two weeks and I felt so energized and so healthy after those two weeks um, that I was just continuing to eat raw vegan and um, I had more and more energy with the time. I was trying to lose weight after um, partying too much at university. Uh, I had an operation on my, on my knee uh, through basketball and I put on about two stone. So that took its toll on me after a while of like drinking and eating atrocious food. And I started just researching, trying to find different diets to lose weight. And after a while, it kind of dawned on me that everything was contradicting each other. And. Um, Finally, I realized that when you eat healthily, that's the best thing you can do for losing weight or many other things. What brought me to this lifestyle, it was uh, a, a fairly long and drawn out process. I, I read this book called Fit for Life about uh, 25 years ago, which follows the principles of natural hygiene. And I was following that diet for about seven or eight years in my earlier um, period of adulthood and that, that was quite successful, I found. I sort of migrated away to that when I got married and then eventually ended that relationship. So I was able to go to do my own exploring with diet and I met a girl, she was a vegan, so I started eating in that way and she taught me about these things called green smoothies. So I went on a bit of a green smoothie bender for about two months and I ran a triathlon, an Olympic distance triathlon and uh, I felt I was competing well above my capability with the riding and running because I had so much energy. My legs felt incredibly strong on the bike and in the run and I was, felt like I was racing on red line but wasn't out of breath. Uh, and I thought at that point, I thought there was really something to eating a raw food diet of fruit and vegetables. Uh, I kind of vacillated between a cooked food diet and, and a raw diet then for the next um, probably 18 months and um, I met met Harley, um, the durian rider at, at the markets in Brisbane at an organic market and uh, he gave me his card and uh, that's where I found out about the 80-10-10 diet and um, bought, bought the book and 
started following more closely the diet as it's described and I felt um, that then my health improved uh, not, not in huge, huge degrees, but I just felt that I wasn't getting sick, wasn't getting cold sores. My um, eyesight seemed clearer and um, just general physical performance was um, very, very good without you know, too, too, too much of a training load. My performance has, incre has increased significantly, uh, although I have nothing really to compare it with uh, prior to this lifestyle because I was all right, so it just went extremely up, so that's it. This lifestyle changed uh, the relationship of me a lot. And um, like fans, um, I, I, don't, I don't drink anymore, so I cannot um, ha hang out with them. <laughs> and they think I'm an alien eating 60 bananas a day, something like that. And my mom think i gone crazy, <laughs> but I just doesn't matter. Yeah. And then, um, after a while, they, they see I'm doing good and they ask me how, how to improve their health. So I'm pretty happy with, that, with this result. Yeah. So I, I got into, um, I think it was, I bought a book by Dr. Robert Young, The PH Miracle, Miracle Diet. And I remember trying that, like cleansing and, and uh, and halfway through that, I, I, I bought Doug's book, 801010, and that's when it all, it all made sense to me. Um, how before I'd been just following a, like a marketing message and whatever was from anything that was put in front of me that was promoted, I believed, like because I was using that fragmented thinking that that Doug would talk about. I've done many, many endurance uh, and also short high aerobic activities like triathlons, uh, running, marathons, half marathons, five kilometre races, four kilometre swimming races, two kilometre swimming races. Um, I also like to do a lot of uh, physical uh, circuit training like push-ups and that sort of thing. So this diet I think is ideal for that sort of thing. Uh, I feel on the diet I feel very, very um, vibrant. I've got a lot of energy. I don't tend to get uh, ill at all unless I'm overdoing it, overtraining or not getting enough sleep. So I think the high vitamin C that the, this diet offers is uh, perfect for the human, human body and human health. Yeah, I am more engaged to sports uh, compared with before. Um, after this diet, I, I went to powerlifting. I start power lift, lifting and then my strength increased a lot and, and in a very short period. I came here to this uh, Woodstock Food Festival uh, to meet like-minded people, to, uh, to enjoy the, all the beautiful fruits and vegetables uh, and just to relax. After a while I, I watched uh, Duran Ryder and Dan McDonald videos and um, so I got into more into 80-10-10 and from that day on I'm pretty stick to 80-10-10 diet and um, that's of course like why why I'm here like why I'm at the Woodstock Food Festival. I come to the Woodstock Festival because um, I want to meet more uh, war, war footage and then I, I, I want to feel more about it so that's why yeah. I was volunteering here in the kitchen and it was, it was, it was a good festival. I definitely would have come back. Eat your food and vegetables. They are the best. So yes, people, eat your fruits and vegetables and maybe a bit of nuts and seeds and enjoy life to the fullest. <laughs> <laughs>